What's going on, guys? Connor on chain. Bring you guys some ETF news. We did it. We pushed through. ETF has been approved finally on the 10th of January. Even though it was falsely approved yesterday on the 9th, that was literally hilarious. Because if you guys don't know yet, which I assume most of you know at this point, the uh, you the SEC posted a fake tweet, you know, because they were hacked or something happened on their end. And they posted that the ETF was approved, but it wasn't, obviously. And then Gary Gensler posted on his own account saying that they were hacked. You know, and it, it just caused a lot of volatility in the market. But in my opinion, everything was kind of priced in already. So, you know, everything, it kind of went up and down for a little while. But even today really hasn't moved. The market today has moved maybe a third of a percent, like total. Close to a percent up and down. You know, so I feel like a lot of that was already priced in at this point. And like you guys have said, or I'm sorry, like I've said to you guys in the last few videos, like I have been expecting a lot of downside. Um, and honestly, I still have no idea when it comes to the short term, what is really going to happen because I, mean, I wasn't expecting a full out nuke like that to the downside. But as far as for Bitcoin here, I think this is going to probably just consolidate it might go sideways for a little while, depending on, you know, if and when new institutional investors and just investors that aren't exposed to crypto want to start buying Bitcoin. So I'm curious to see how this next week is going to play out for Bitcoin specifically. But what's crazy is that ETH actually decided to pump today because now the new narrative is going to be the ETH ETF, even though it's not even hasn't really been a rumor itself like across twitter and social media yeah you know everyone's like oh eth etf is next but you know vitaly i think vitalik or however you pronounce his name i don't even know if he's ever actually claimed anything like that anything like true or false with that so as far as any sort of short-term etf for eth coming i don't i don't know if i see that right now but we'd have to get some confirmation from vitalik himself if you guys know him, give him a call, ask him, let me know also. But yeah, we had a lot of altcoins start moving across the board. You know, we had Mog, classic Mog guys. Like, I, I just, I want this coin to absolutely rip. And I think, because I think this new sentiment is going to be on ETH for a while, I actually, I am... Wrong. I am completely wrong, I feel like, yet again, on where the market's going to be headed. You know, bottom line, like, I've been just waiting for some sort of pullback in the market, but, you know, I honestly, I don't think, I don't know how many people really expected just ETH and altcoins to rip after the Bitcoin ETF gets approved, you know. That was, in my opinion, it was kind of unexpected, but that's literally what crypto does every single time it's going to come up with a scenario that happens that you just will not think of you know every single time for me it always happens and i try to price that into whatever i'm actually doing or predicting but this one was did not expect that so i'm actually very curious to see what is going to happen now like i was saying with bitcoin specifically but also now eth you know just seeing eth here um, I'm going to pull up the ETH, ETH BTC dominance here. Okay, this had a spike. Let me get this, get my head out of the way. So when you're looking at ETH BTC here, um, you gotta understand looking at it is that this is kind of the Ethereum price against the Bitcoin versus the other way around. So when you're looking at ETH versus BTC, so bottom line, this is going to be tracking ETH in accordance to what Bitcoin's doing. So ETH dominance here was going down for a long time, and it's now decided to shoot back up because of everything that's happened. Just so you guys understand, if you're not familiar with 
the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. Um, but yeah, ETH dominance is starting to rise again. And like I said, it's mainly because the Bitcoin ETF was taking up a lot of, I guess, market share because that was the most hyped narrative for a long time. But I'm curious, and it's funny, it bounced right on a support level. Like, I swear, a lot of technicals just don't lie. Technicals are crazy sometimes. But anyways, I'm curious to see if this is going to continue to the downside, if this is going to break or have a heavy break. Because obviously, like, you guys can just see the momentum, how how it's been just going. You know, if you take this out here, it's just literally been like a, a C shape. Momentum has been nuts to the downside, but yeah. Curious to see how that plays out over the next, like I said, week, couple weeks. But uh, I'm just going to show you guys a couple altcoins too that... You know, that we, I've talked about on the channel a lot. And we got titanium, classic tie. This is, oh my god! You know, I'm I'm actually just gonna pull them up on Coin Gecko. Holy crap! <clears throat> yes, yeah, so we got titanium. You know, actually, I have realized I haven't talked about a lot of these coins in a while. So titanium 22 guys ever since you know we got in super low it has had this giga pump three four five hundred percent pump and it has just been consolidating ever since then um yeah and i'm my conviction for titanium hasn't really changed the only thing that changed was the price so titanium is still holding strong still building still doing everything um, but I do want to see some real development coming out of them. That is mainly what I've been waiting for with Ty. But like I said, the uh, still haven't even updated it here. They got to update this, but market cap, I think is in between like 15 to 20 million right now. I don't think it's that 20 million yet, but somewhere around that 15, 16 million. But yeah, titanium still holding strong. And then we had warped games as well. This was down very heavily today. Um, and I know a lot of people are probably nervous and scared. You know, like it happens. It's it's part of the uh, investing in especially newer projects. But what happened was just a token unlock. Um, most projects, if not a lot of projects, especially that have some sort of VCs or backing behind them, um, they're going to have token unlocks that happen. This was a pretty hefty unlock in my opinion though. It was down over 40% at one point, but it's come back up a little bit. But yeah, like the the team's super transparent about it. They're, you know, they're still obviously working hard. Like, in my opinion, nothing at all has changed. This has just dropped a little bit. So if anyone's holding this, you guys shouldn't be worried. I'm not worried. I haven't even thought about it. Um, like I said, one of the most transparent teams, in my opinion, that I've seen that I can... Anyone can just communicate with in Telegram and social media. You know, I like I said, my conviction has not changed for Warped, and it's not going to change. Um, yeah, I want to see Warped absolutely kill it this bull run. Easily my top, one of my top gaming projects. I have no no doubt about it. So I'm holding Warped, and yeah, we'll give that a little rocket there too. But yeah, like I said, it was down pretty heavy. But, you know, it's just more buying opportunity. You know, and we got, you know, another one, too, that I've talked about. Obviously, you guys are familiar with Adult. This one has just been, you know, it had its, it had a nice run going into November, even into December. I think ever since, I don't know if it was the platform launch or whatever it was, you know, the price has just been, it has just not been recovering. <clears throat> You know, I'm kind of, I'm starting to really question adult itself. Um, you know, I actually want to get in contact with the team, see if they can do anything, see what's going on. You know, if it's just FUD or if the team is just not responsive, anything, you know, it's because when you're dealing with a lot of low cap micro caps like this, in my opinion, it is so important when teams can communicate, especially when you got new investors 
you know, a lot of people, all they want is just confirmation that, oh, the dev is still here. Oh, the, the team is still building. Like, you know, but when teams go like a week, two weeks, a month, you know, not even tweeting, not doing anything, you know, it's, in my opinion, it's one of the biggest red flags when it comes to just investing in any project. If a, if a project is not active on social media or is not active in a Discord, Telegram, they can be active on one or the other. But mo I'd say most of the time, if they're not active anywhere like that, that is one of the biggest red flags, in my opinion. And I'm not saying adult is like that at all. I haven't looked and I got to check. And I'm curious to just see what's going on with this. But yeah, like I still want to see adult win, but you know, it's, it's getting to a point where, right, unless there's something really, some huge catalyst, I, I don't really, I don't know what's going on with it right now. You know, it's just hype's kind of down. It's going sideways. And like I said, I want to check up on it and check it out. Actually, yeah, we got dog, dog with hat has been booming again. I think this just said someone just bought like six point five million dollars worth of this coin when the liquidity was only two point five million. So whoever just bought that just lost a huge chunk. And I'm sorry, that sucks. But <laughs> that's yeah, you know, that's crazy though. Um Let me see here too. I'm gonna go I'm just gonna do like one or two more coins here. Because I was going to pull up some crypto gaming projects as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys, you know, if you guys have uh, been watching my channel, I've actually, I've never covered this one before, but this is one that I, I covered and I got in the Patreon. And this is actually going to be one of, it's going to be a new longer term gem for you know, me when it comes to crypto gaming, I guess this is going to be a crypto gaming project uh, video as well too here, but soon verse is very interesting. I think this is a, it's a, let me pull this up here. Cause I'm like, my brain is all over the place today. But so the ticker is soon. And so a lot of the tokenomics listed on coin gecko coin market cap, all of those are just all over the place. Don't look at those. Don't pay attention to it. You can find the right ones in the Telegram. Um, so the team, well, bottom line, the price is around two cents. The market cap, I think, is sitting around two million. I know even on CoinGecko it says five hundred k, but that's wrong. I'm uh, sitting around around maybe a million to two million. But what it is, it's an integrated Web three games and metaverse accelerator, and incubator. Vision of the Sooniverse is to incubate a batch of top quality games, providing gamers for a play for fun and play to earn experience and create a low threshold portal to the metaverse. So this is a pretty interesting one. It's uh, this was a this project was called Soon Swap before they transitioned into so, uh, Sooniverse. Uh, but this is like, a, in my opinion, a micro cap or very low cap gaming slash metaverse project this one you know it's had a ton of hype on twitter they got a lot of different partners um the only thing i don't like about this is that their team from my knowledge is just not doxed you know and that's something that i personally focus on fairly heavily now i really like to see that sort of transparency but you know what makes up for it most of the time for me is if the team is very active and the social media is absolutely popping off and not even like through community wise, as far as like the team is always communicating and they are constantly posting, making or getting partnerships out and updating everyone on Twitter with, you know, different things going on. And that is what they've been doing very heavily. So soon versus one to watch for the long term. And like I said, all this stuff here. A lot of this is just, it is very wrong. Um, yeah, we called this a few days ago in the Patreon. And this, yeah, this is going to be one of my long-term, I'd say, crypto gaming 
bags. I really like this project. And I just, I think the sentiment too, over time, this can really pick up. And they do have a game as well that's already out. But bottom line, uh, this is Soonverse. I really like this project as well. So make sure you guys do your own research. Uh, they got a lot of catalysts coming up as well. And right now, yeah, what exchanges are they on? So Mexi, and they are on Uniswap too. Even though, I, I don't know if it lists it, but they do have the contract address here. But Soonverse is a, no, a new gem of mine. I say I really like this coin, like I said, five different times. But bottom line, that's it's gonna be a wrap, guys. Just wanted to throw a little market update, just a couple of gems in there too. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be dropping way more in-depth videos on some new projects and different narratives as well very soon, as well as new projects that are upcoming that I I can see doing extremely well. So just be on the lookout for those because I haven't done a lot of those, you know, in over like a month now. But I want to get back into doing like just mainly kind of the gem hunting and gem finding that you guys used to see from me a month or two ago. So I'm going to be diving more of that or doing more of that in the next few days to coming weeks. So from there, that's what I got for you guys today. I appreciate you being here and thank you. I'll see you in the next one.